Before I continue discussing the markets, please take this moment now with helping me and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click subscribe. Click this bell. Click all. This helps you receive a notification when I post my next videos. Next, click the thumbs up button every time you watch my videos. Okay, let's continue with the view of the markets. It's Thursday, March 4th, 5 p.m. New York time. The U.S. equity markets are closed, the U.S. future markets are closed, and the Forex market is closed. So it's time to review the currency markets. I'm going to first show you the yields. We'll look at the 30-year, the 10 and 5, the yields. When yields go higher, they put pressure to raise interest rates. When U.S. interest rates go higher, they typically strengthen the U.S. dollar. Also, we're going to be looking at the FX futures. Currencies do trade in the futures market, and the futures market refers to FX as FX futures. And then we'll look at the currencies in the Forex market. The Forex market is only currencies. So first, we will look at the weekly charts. Each candle will be a week, and since it's Thursday, the week's not done yet. We're here looking at the 30-year yield inside candle. Last week was a pin bar. That's a bearish pin bar. So the momentum is to the upside, but the current week has not taken out the high or low of the prior week. Indecision. The 10-year yield. Same thing. Momentum's to the upside. Current candle is inside candle. Hasn't taken out the high or low of last week. Indecision. And the five year, the shorter duration, the faster time frame. Same thing. Inside candle, indecision, but the momentum's to the upside. Mm -hmm. So if you notice, last week, they all made new highs for the year of 2021. Mm -hmm. And that momentum's still to the upside until we see a change. Okay, on to the next. Now we'll look at the Cryptocurrency, the most widely traded one, and the first one, Bitcoin, also trades in the futures market, forward slash Bravo Tango Charlie. All-time high was last week. Current candle is inside candle. It didn't take out the high or low. The prior week, huge moves for the past four weeks. Huge. Wide price range. Huge sell-off. This could be interpreted, this red candle, as a bearish engulfing golfing and bearish yep so maybe that's it maybe it's over maybe we won't see any more all-time highs maybe it's gonna be downward motion from here oh uh, some people think bitcoin only goes one way to the upside yeah they must not know history because a few years back bitcoin was going lower 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 after it came off its highs mm -hmm. u.s dollar index momentum's to the downside but currently, after the disconsolidation broke out, started to build new consolidation, but not so well. Yeah, hit this supply zone and still hasn't taken it out yet. So time will tell, week's not over yet, but it's in that trading range, just shy of 92, above 91. But again, stay aware of this. It may be building staircase pattern higher highs. Okay, that was the U.S. dollar and that was cryptocurrency. Now let's go on to the currencies inside the U.S. dollar. Mm -hmm. So we're going to look at the first, the currencies that trade in the futures market. They're called FX futures. And they all start with a forward slash and the number six and then the letter to represent the currency. When they go higher, that means they're beating stronger than the U.S. dollar. So when they go lower, that's good for the US dollar. When they go higher, that's good for them. So first we we'll look at the forward slash 6E, that's the Euro, the number one biggest currency leverage percentage in the US dollar index is the Euro. It makes up the largest percentage, followed by the yen, the pound, Canadian dollar, Swiss franc, Australian dollar. Another takeaway here is the three safe haven currencies are the US dollar, 
Japanese yen and Swiss franc. So when one or all those currencies, one or more of all those currencies are going higher, it means people are going to a safe haven currency. Well, the US dollar may be turning around. We saw it building calls to go higher, higher, but again, it's struggling. So we'll first look at the Euro. Mm -hmm. Huge consolidation, broke below 120 this week. If it takes out this low, mm, look out. And this is a supply zone. So right now the momentum is choppy, but the bias is more downside on the Euro. The Euro is getting beat down. Mm -hmm. So I would not be buying on the upside. I'll be looking for opportunities to short, to trade short, to profit on the downside of the Euro. Now we're looking at the number two biggest currency in the dollar index, the Japanese yen. Took out this yellow line, it's a swing low, it took it out this week, huge move. That consolidation, since it broke below that, below this wedge, again, these purple lines were a wedge, and it was building a coil inside that wedge. Wedge. If you see my past videos and heard me say, when it's building that coil, it's getting tighter and tighter, and when it break out, it's gonna start a new trend. So it broke out to the downside, and it's been trending lower since then. Plus, it took out that swing low. That's very bearish. Japanese yen. Mm -hmm. The number three biggest currency in the US dollar index, the British pound. Oi. Okay. That was a pin bar last week. That's a bearish pin bar. And now we're below 140. But we did hit an all time high last week. So there's a wedge building called tighter and tighter. It broke out of it back then. Momentum is the upside. So we'll see if this is just going to be a consolidation, like a staircase pattern. I we'll have to watch that closely. But again, it's a very strong currency and showing strength since it left the EU. Yep, the UK left the EU. Canadian dollar. All-time high was last week. Inside candle indecision. Remember that one candle was indecision right there on the weekly time frame. Swiss franc also huge sell-off that was the all-time high for the year yeah that first week of this year was the all-time high since then it lo never looked back it ran away okay wow and now look at that we just took out that swing low this yellow horizontal low this yellow horizontal line means we took out this swing low it's trading below it mm -hmm. time to remove that yep staircase pattern lower low on to the next Australian dollar. If you've been following my videos, watching them last year, you would know that it was the strongest currency last year in the in the um, US dollar index. Yep, momentum. So last week was the all-time high, huge reversal, made that all-time high, but then sold off and took out that prior week low, and now it's an inside candle indecision. Hmm. Okay. Now we're going to look at the currencies in the forex market how do you know the forex market first we're going to look at the euro pairs how do you know the forex because forex has six letters three letters fired followed by a slash and three letters the first three letters represents the stronger currency so when that pair is going up that's a favor to the currency of three letters on the left all these are euro pairs we already spoke about the euro us dollar let's go to the euro yen the euro yen momentum's to the upside giving straight to the euro against the yen last week was the all-time high current inside candle indecision euro canadian sorry euro british pound uh-huh strong momentum downside that's a strength for the british pound weakness in the euro and interesting right there yep inside candle as well too the euro canadian dollar momentum's to the downside giving favor to the canadian dollar yep i told you the euro is very weak Gets the US dollar many other currencies. Hey, maybe get cheap vacations back in Europe. Summer is not that far away. Did you get vaccinated? I did. Good job out of me. Euro, Swiss franc. Mm hmm. Momentum's to the upside. The euro is gaining strength against the Swiss franc. All time high this week. Big moves to the upside. Mm hmm. Nobody wants the yen or Swiss franc. Interesting. Those might be the places to take vacations at. Maybe Japan or Switzerland. If you like chocolate. 
or you like sushi. Euro, Aussie dollar. Strength is to the downside, giving strength to the Australian dollar. Look at that, tight consolidation, broke out to the downside, another tight consolidation. It's building a staircase pattern lower low. That was all time high for this year. But again, going down and giving strength to the Aussie dollar, hence the Euro. Okay, let's look at the yen. The yen pairs. We already did the US dollar yen. We already did the Euro yen. Let's go to the British pound, the yen. Yep, strength to the upside, giving strength to the British pound against the yen. All time high was this week. Really strong. Look at that momentum to the upside. Since the first week of this year, the British pound has been making higher highs, momentum to the upside. Canadian dollar, Japanese yen. Yep to the upside in favor of the Canadian dollar, all time high right now for this year, outstanding. Swiss franc, Japanese yen, two safe haven currencies fighting each other in a consolidation. That was the high of this year in favor of the Swiss franc, but since then went down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Australian dollar against Japanese yen. Strong momentum to the upside. That was the all time high this year in favor of all of the Australian dollar inside Canada right now in decision. This may be building consolidation here. So on the faster time frame, there may be a demand zone opportunity to reload, buy, and look to gains on the upside. Okay, let's go to the British pound now. Again, we're still on the Forex. We already did the pound US dollar, the pound yen, the pound euro, yep. And the pound Canadian dollar. Momentum to the upside, strength to the British pound. Look at the staircase pattern, consolidation, staircase pattern, higher high, consolidation, staircase pattern, higher high. Real strong British pound against Canadian dollar. Last week was the all time high. Good opportunity for many opportunities to, yeah, I don't speak much, I guess. Good opportunity for several opportunities to reload it to the profit for gains to the upside. Uh, the struggle was real for those words. Pound, Swiss franc, again, momentum to the upside in favor of the British pound. All time high right here. Interesting. And the pound Australian dollar. Huge consolidation since the end of last year right now. That was consolidation, breakdown consolidation. So staircase pattern lower low in favor of the Australian dollar. But now here, I'm gonna have to redraw this. This is a new consolidation off the low. So it looks like consolidation, up consolidation. We'll see what happens with this inside candle. But this may be reversing here, giving favor of the British pound against the Australian dollar. Oh my goodness gracious. What's that history on the British pound? The sun, rise, ne sun never sets on the British pound. Oh, mm -hmm. things may be turning around for them. Oh boy, we're gonna all be driving on the other side of the road and doing measurements the other way. Hey, if you like this video, you can subscribe, click like, also, if you want to get deeper details, watch list, trade ideas, and lots more, you can join my Patreon link down below. As well, if you like this kind of content, you can click my PayPal account below and give a donation. That would be a beautiful thing. If you don't want to do any of those, well, minimum, please click the like. Bye-bye. If you like this market information I've shared and want to learn more with greater detail, step-by-step -step training, I have a Patreon page. I share trade ideas for earning monthly income. Below in the description box, click show more. Scroll down, this link here, click on it. Take you here to my Patreon page. Select the membership and join. Then you have access to unlock my posts.